Okay, do you have a Kobo Mini? Would you like to have a little more space? If you'll notice, mine has 14,219 megabytes available. Interesting. How did I do that? Here's what you will need. You will need a replacement micro SD card, the original SD card from the device, which I'll show you how to get, a micro SD card reader that you install them into. You'll also need a little micro screwdriver and two pieces of software. You're going to need from alexpage.de slash usb image tool slash download. Download the USB image tool. I'll have links in the notes. You'll also need from partitionwizard.com the free dash partition dash manager.html file. Link in the notes. Download that. Okay. You're going to need to remove the SD card from your Kobo. This is actually easier than you think. Pop off the rear cover. And of course the other cover would get stuck inside. I had this all ready and the damn covers had to stick together, didn't they? Of course! So remove the back cover and then this cover has six screws that you have to remove. I lost one, I don't care. Inside is a micro SD card slot. Right there. And then I now have a 16 gig card in there. Put your micro SD card in the reader from the original unit. Pop it into your computer's USB drive. Open up the USB image tool. You select your drive click back up. It's going to ask you to give it a name. I call mine Kobo Mini Image. It takes a while. Even It's going to copy byte for byte the entire disk even if the disk is empty so the 4 gig card will take as long as it takes to copy 4 gigabytes worth of files even if there's no files. Once you are done, um, remove the 4 gig card, install your new card, click on restore. It's going to ask you to select the file. You're going to select the image you created. When you're done with that, close it, open up Mini Partition Tool. You're going to notice their flash drive here with multiple partitions. You're going to have an unallocated 10 megabytes, I believe that's the actual, I don't know what it is, but um, I'd leave it alone. The root of your device, the recovery partition, I guess when you do a master reset, it gets the files from here to reinstall onto the root. Your Kobo e-reader is the space you have access to. That's where the actual files are. I find this interesting that it actually has 1.9 gig of unallocated space on the stock card. So in theory, I can add a lot more space to this just by using that space. That's interesting. You right-click the Kobo e-reader FAT32 partition. Go to Extend. And simply extend it all the way to the right. You now notice it uses the full space. It's only going to use 1.3 gig when you make the image because the image is byte for byte. So when you put in your 8 gig, 16 gig, 32 gig card, you're going to have a lot of unallocated space. We are now adjusting the partition to utilize that unallocated space. Click apply, wait for it to finish, remove it, install it back into your Kobo e reader, put the cover back on, screw it in place, snap your cover back on, reset the device, plug it in, hold the power button until it turns back on, it'll boot back up. And you're good to go. You will now have a Kobo e-reader with pretty much as much space as your heart could desire. I mean, you'd be hard-pressed to fill that. Enjoy.